Hey everybody, here's how you can make our animals come alive on our alphabet rug. So there's three things you need to know. How do I download my free app? Number two, how do I get the seven habitat cards? And three, how do I use the app and the habitat cards to make these animals come alive? So here we go. So I've got my iPad. You can use any smartphone or tablet, go to Google Play or the Amazon store. So I went to the app store earlier. I, I typed in Rugs Alive in the search and that icon came up. Just install Rugs Alive. And when you're done, this is what should be on your tablet. So I'm gonna come back to that because now I'm gonna show you number two. How do I get my habitat cards? So you'll go to rugsalive.com and when you get to this page, you'll just scroll. Now, how do I get my habitat cards? Number one, you're gonna print out these animal habitat cards. You touch that. And when you touch that, you're gonna to go to the, this page. There's some instructions on how to use um, the rugs and the habitat cards. And here are the seven habitat cards. Now I went ahead and printed them out already. There's a seven. And you notice we've got these cut line. So go ahead and cut these. And I already cut my jungle habitat out. So this is what it should look like. You can laminate this if you want, which makes a little bit, I put it on um, cardstock. But if you do laminate, just watch for glare. Uh, it's a little trick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place my habitat card and match it to the animal that lives in that habitat. And there's a little sneak peek here if you're not sure, we've listed them here. But I know the elephant lives in the jungle. So I'm gonna put the habitat card and I'm gonna set it right over the letters. So you're always gonna set it over the letters. And now I'm gonna open up my Rugs Alive app. So we'll just touch that. And. Says, do you have one of our live studios rugs? Well, yes, I do. And now it's gonna ask you what rug shape you have. Well, we have a rectangle. If you have an oval, click on oval. If you have a circle, click on circle. But I have a rectangle. So it's loading that up. And there we go. It opens up the camera view. And you'll see these brackets. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these brackets and frame up the habitat card and my animal. And I'm just gonna touch scan. Hold it still. <gasps> There's Perfect. Edie Elephant. You can find elephants in jungles. And so Edie's in our earth bubble. And uh, you can get a nice view of her. But I wanna get her out of the earth bubble and release her to come alive on my rug. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna come over here and you see my zoo crew icon? I just point my camera to the center of that icon. Woo! There's Edie, and Edie comes alive. This is like magic glass. You're kind of viewing through your tablet or smartphone. And what I can do is I can go all the way around and explore Edie Elephant or any of these animals and see to the side. I can see the top. <laughs> I can see behind. It's like having like little binoculars. I can see everything, except it's up close, all the way there. And you can have pictures of your friends and take a pictures of uh, the kids with their animal and email at home. Now, you'll notice if I lose the, um, the uh, Zuku icon, it goes back into the earth bubble again, which is kind of fun. And then you can just place it back. So here's a tip. You see I have Edie Elephant in landscape mode, but you can easily turn it to portrait mode. Like if we had a tall animal like Gertie Giraffe, it's a great way to see her in portrait mode. Habitat card. So I want to get my Zoo Crew alphabet song music video to come alive. 
I don't need a Habitat card. I just frame it in the brackets, hit scan. And there's our zookeeper with our alphabet zoo crew song. Okay, so, and one last thing. These are in colors you can see, but you can print these out in black and white and they'll work just as good. So, that's everything you need to know to make your rugs come alive.